In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be to Him forever. Amen. Let all the enemies of the true Holy Orthodox Church on the old calendar be vanquished and defeated, crushed beneath the feet of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and forever be dispersed, uprooted, cast out, and sent into the deepest abyss in the second death, the lake of fire, where the fires never go out and the worms never die. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, it is done. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. This is our commanderite, Father Mikael. I serve as an exorcist priest in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Our church takes its autonomy from the one true Greek Orthodox Church on the old calendar from Alexandria. What I'm going to talk a little bit today about is the delusions of the new calendarist. All those who claim to be Orthodox Christians and are in agreement with the new calendarist or what is so-called new calendar orthodoxy. They have abandoned the holy tradition of the holy Orthodox Church. All of the Protestants who are not Orthodox are given over to a reprobate mind as it is written in the Holy Scriptures, as our Lord Jesus Christ have said. All of the people that are uh, against the true and authentic Orthodox Church on the old calendar are enemies of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are in delusion. They are delusional. All of the ecumenism is delusions, pure delusions. All those who partake in these modern new calendar ecumenism, all those who are saying that we're all children of God, we all have different ways to God, and believing the lies of the Antichrist are delusional. For the first 1,000 years of Orthodox Christianity, for the first 1,000 years of true, authentic, genuine Christendom, for the first 1,000 years of the one true Christian church, the one body of Christ, one faith, one church, one baptism. There's only one God, one Lord Jesus Christ, only one Holy Spirit, one God in three persons. Jesus Christ did not come into the world to bring confusion. Jesus Christ did not come into the world to start many different churches that would be against each other. Jesus Christ did not come into the world to bring delusions. Jesus Christ came into the world to destroy the works of the devil. Our Lord Jesus made it clear, even in the Gospels, when he said, your enemies will be those of your own household, father against son, daughter against mother. There will be five in one household, three against two and two against three. Do not think I came to bring peace on the earth. I came not to bring peace, but a sword. I came to bring conflict, division in your homes. I came to bring fire on the earth. And how I wish it was kindled already. Jesus came into this world to destroy the works of darkness. All of the new calendar so-called orthodoxy, ecumenism, all this Protestantism, all these people that stand against the true orthodox church on the old calendar are people that are delusional. They are delusional full of delusion. And our Lord Jesus Christ gives them over to a reprobate mind. So many apostates in the great apostasy. Christ has cut them off. 
They are not connected to the vine, to Christ, in the true body of Christ, the old calendar orthodox. So Christ has cut them off. They are branches that are dead spiritually, laying down on the ground, and at the end of time will be gathered together, tied in bundles, and cast into the second death, the lake of fire, where the fires never go out and the worms never die. People, unbelievers, anti-Christ, if you stand and oppose the historical Orthodox Church on the old calendar, if you stand and oppose all of the Holy Church Fathers, the Body of Christ, the Apostolic Canonical Fathers of the Apostles, the successors of those Apostles carrying on the Holy Tradition, the Holy Spirit, the life of the Holy Spirit, all those who stand against historical Orthodox Old Calendar Holy Tradition, the ongoing life of the Holy Spirit, those who stand against and oppose all of the holy mysteries of the Orthodox Church, those who reject the Eucharist, the holy body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ in the Orthodox Church, all those who reject those who live their life on Holy Communion in the Orthodox Church on the old calendar, which is a minority and not a majority, the majority is delusional. The majority is taking that broad road which leads to destruction. They are the state of the Antichrist. And when one breath, with one breath, as is written in the Apocrypha, in the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the Holy Bible, with the one breath, a puff, a breath of his mouth, the state of the Antichrist will be forever vanquished. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. And how will it be when he comes against those who have fought against his body, the true Orthodox Church on the old calendar, who have kept the Holy Communion, who have kept the Holy Mysteries of the Church, who have kept the Holy Tradition, as the Apostle Paul said, speaking by the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the Holy Bible. As he said, the Apostle Paul, speaking by God, the Holy Spirit, when he said, keep these traditions, which we, the apostles, are teaching you. And if you, Timothy, my son, I have been a father to you, I have begotten you through the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul was a spiritual father of Timothy, who was his spiritual son. He says, if you remind the brethren of these things which we the apostles are teaching you, then you will be a good soldier, a good minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. The whole one Holy Spirit brought people to the Orthodox Church on the old calendar for the first 800 to 1,000 years. That same one and only Holy Spirit does not bring people to Roman Catholicism and all these Protestant churches that protest and fight against the Orthodox Church on the old calendar. They are Antichrist, not Christians. You who are in your homes with your Holy Bibles, reading from them, and believing that you have some connection with God because you have fuzzy, warm feelings, because you have some visions, because you feel good in your body and you feel right. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. You go by feelings and emotions you decide whether you like something or whether you do not like it. And you say that that is God talking to you. Surely God is not talking to you. Because we have holy tradition as also the Apostle Paul spoke by the power of the Holy Spirit. He said, keep these traditions, whether by word of mouth or by epistle. 
He said, have nothing to do with the heretics, those who are in heresy, those outside of the holy tradition. To know true Christianity is to become baptized and chrismated, an Orthodox Christian on the old calendar. If you're fortunate enough to actually find an Orthodox church, if you're lucky enough, blessed enough, if you are actually in some way, shape, or form led by God's Holy Spirit to His one true body of Christ, the Orthodox Church on the old calendar, and keeping truly the traditional Orthodox faith, how blessed are you to depart from delusion, to depart from the Antichrist state, you see, there is one government, one government, one state. And the monarch of that entire state and government is the Lord Jesus Christ and his body, the one body of Christ, the Orthodox Church on the old calendar. It has nothing to do with the new calendar who call themselves Orthodox it has nothing to do with the Baptist Church, the Pentecostal Church, or any Roman Catholic Church, or anything else that dares to call itself a church outside of the one true historical Orthodox Church, which keeps all seven ecumenical councils. It is not a church if it is not the one true Orthodox Church, the body of Christ. They are not Christians if they are not baptized and chrismated into the one body, the historical body, the same body of Christ that the one Holy Spirit brought people to for the first 1,000 years of Christianity. The same one Holy Spirit all the way till today is still saving souls, still bringing people to the historical old calendar Orthodox Church, having them baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and chrismated, anointed with that chrism oil, sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That same one Holy Spirit in the historical Old Calendar Orthodox Church is still giving people the true mysteries of Christ the true body and blood in Holy Communion of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. There is only one true state, only one true government, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and His Holy Orthodox Church on the old calendar that has nothing to do with the heretics and the apostasy and the heresy of any new calendar orthodoxy or any Protestantism or Roman Catholicism. These people have abandoned the true Christian faith to go establish some other Jesus with some other spirituality and some other traditions that have nothing to do with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've been on YouTube for years preaching the same one thing. Find the Holy Orthodox Church. Be baptized and chrismated Orthodox. Keep the Orthodox faith to your last breath or die in hypocrisy with a reprobate mind as an apostate, as a heretic in schism and a non-believer, but a person who has taken the mark of the beast, 666. Because if you call yourself a Christian, no matter how much you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, it is written the demons also believe 
in the Lord Jesus Christ. And they tremble. Outside of the Orthodox Church, on the old calendar, you have no Eucharist. You have no true Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. And that Holy Spirit, that Spirit of Truth of the Lord Jesus Christ, there's only one. As our Lord Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit comes to you, He will give you power. Power will come to you to be the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. How can you be a true witness of the Lord Jesus Christ when you reject the body of Christ, the historical Orthodox Church, the body of Christ, and claim to be a Christian? You are a liar and a child of the father of lies. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, your home is the second death, the lake of fire. Depart in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Jesus Christos Nika. Amen.